Hello, God Life. Good to be together again. My name is Jesse. I'm getting ready for services. Tonight, uh, we are going to be going through the book of Isaiah. And it's a long book. It's 66 chapters. But I encourage you to read it. The first half of the book is on the holiness of God. And the second half of the book is on the comfort of God. Uh, with the holiness of God, how holy God is. It gives us a holy calling in our lives. To We are loved, and yet we need to repent and he will cleanse us, and then God will send you out with his love and his words. Now, uh, there's an overview here, uh, especially when you think of the holiness of God, that includes both his judgment and his mercy. And I want to unpack that because some people hear judgment, and they just hear guilt and shame and unhealthy fear. And that's not the message. That's not from God. That's not where he wants to take you. But some churches will just pound people into the ground with that. And his judgment is real. That's a reality. But it's not uh, one that's just um, trying to accuse you and uh, brutally tear you down. It, it's one that brings warning out of love and a healthy rebuke. But then there's also his mercy. And ultimately, judgment drives us to mercy. And there's tension because we know we've sinned and we need a Savior. And then the mercy of God through Jesus Christ, he died for our sins. Mercy is to be received. And then mercy... We run with it. We don't return to sin. We run with the Lord when we receive his mercy. Uh, now, judgment is both personal and national. We are all held accountable. Jesus, for every word and deed, Jesus will hold us accountable. And so we take it seriously. Also, nations are held accountable. Isaiah is going to prophesy uh, to several nations, the Moabites, the Babylonians, the Assyrians. And these nations have been brutal. They've mistreated people. They've uh, rejected God. They've uh, even killed their own kids. Uh, and, and so they've just done so many things wrong. And ultimately, they're going to face judgment. You might wonder sometimes, is there going to be any justice? Does God have the final say? He will take care of it. He will take care of it. And we're reminded of that in Isaiah, that God is uh, faithful. God will make sure that there's justice in the end, and God has the final say. Even if you look and there's a powerful nation that's being so cruel to other nations, God will sort that out. He's still in control. But his faithfulness is our hope. It's not in our religion. It's not in our performance. It's in his faithfulness. Because the truth is, uh, we sin, and we sin every day. And our hope is in the Lord and his faithfulness. Now, instead of turning to God and turning to the faithful one, the Israelites would often uh, try to turn to other nations. And they were a small nation. God has preserved and protected the Israelites over the years, the thousands of years. But they would turn to bigger countries like Assyria, thinking Assyria could save us. But then you know what happened? Um, Assyria was not faithful. God is faithful, but other nations are not. And one of the kings, Ahaz, took uh, a bribe, took money out of the temple, tried to bribe Assyria, and then he paid it and then after that, he shut down the temple. And then instead of the sacred altars, he put in the false idols. And then he ended up uh, killing his own sons. And there was a downfall. Why? Because instead of trusting God, he put his trust in another nation. I'm encouraging you today to put your trust in Jesus. And don't put your trust, ultimate trust in money. Don't put it in your job, your health, another country, another person. Put your trust in Jesus. And then receive his mercy. God's mercy abounds. God is uh, covering our sins. God is faithful. God is kind. And uh, his mercy is sufficient. So receive his mercy today for sins. Spread the good news about Jesus. Uh, Jesus has died for our sins. There is full payment of sins. There is full mercy. People ask all the time, well, what about the, the sins I've done that nobody knows? God will forgive you. What about the really awful sins? God will forgive you. What about the sins from many years ago? God will forgive you. You receive his mercy and run with it. And that's good news. So uh, share this video with somebody. You just hit share, simple button, so they'll know about judgment, that we need a savior, that we are sinful. There's a holy God, but we have mercy in Jesus. Put your trust in Jesus. He is the Messiah, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords. He's the faithful one. Never leave you. Uh, sins forgiven. Relationship right now. Abundant life and eternity in heaven. Uh, that's good news. That's God's mercy. Receive God's mercy today. Turn from sin. Receive his mercy and run with the Lord. Don't return to sin. Run with the Lord. All right. Share this with somebody else. And then uh, you can leave any comments where you're watching from. And Jesus loves you. Receive his mercy today. Have a great night.